Hey everybody, how's it going? It's John David here, and I just wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about some things that are on my mind this week and today, really. Um, so I, I started uh, taking this blood pressure medication um, because I have slightly high elevated blood pressure, and uh, the doctor decided that it was high enough that she would like me to, you know, take this daily pill. and. I mean, a part of me says that it's not that big a deal, I might as well do it because it's just one pill a day, and another part of me says I'm too young to be resigned to this need to be on medication type of a deal. It feels like I'm letting go a little bit of my, my, my youth, you know? I, I'm taking this pill now, and uh, the other thing is I have to drink lots of water. And uh, I have to uh, exercise. And you'd think, um, you know, exercising 30 minutes a day, not that big a deal, right? It, I know that it's simple. I know that it's easy. And I know that I can do it. It's kind of like, now I have to, I have to run from this monster of, of, of illness, you know? This monster of this thing taking me down. <laughs> Um, it's coming after me, and I, I feel like I'm, I'm really actually fighting against something. And I, I don't know if that's just growing up and maturing and growing out of that young adult phase. And you know, you're, some people are going to say, you're 34, John, you, you're not a young adult. And then the old people are going to say, you're 34, John, you're not old at all. You've got so many years left. And yes, I understand both of those opinions. I'm right in between it. I get it, right? But really, to me, it, it is like I'm, I'm fighting something. I'm, I'm running from something. I'm, I've got to really actually defend myself against myself. Um, I am the enemy that can keep me from being healthy and subsequently being happier. I really can find happiness in being in feeling better physically. It, it translates directly over. Um, and I know that uh, some people out there think, no, you know, happiness is is doing whatever you want. And, you know, maybe for some people, happiness is drinking alcohol. For some people, happiness is eating delicious food, whatever they feel like is, is their favorite food. Uh, or, you know, playing, watching all their favorite shows or playing all their favorite video games. But um, that's just a, a tiny, tiny part of happiness. Those things can distract you for a while, but in the end, you know, they leave you still empty. And, and I feel that. I feel more now, you know, the emptiness after, oh, I think saving up for something is going to, you know, and getting it is just going to make me feel better um, permanently. And then I find out, oh, you know, I bought that thing, and then it's like, oh, okay, well, life just goes on, I guess. And... So I've got to, you know, shift my focus from these physical things to, like my dad said, when we look internally for our happiness, we will find longer lasting happiness than when we look externally at physical objects and the things that we collect in this life. And even through having a bunch of friendships. Um, friends are great. I'm an, ex um, an extrovert. I need a lot of friends. That's how I feel right with my, my brain. But also friends, you know, all the friends in the world can't, can't make me absolutely happy. Look at all these famous people that have tons of people follow them and love them, and they don't, you know, they don't have lasting happiness either. So in a way I feel kind of like Iron Man. <laughs> and not in the good way where like I'm a billionaire and I can build these robotic suits and I can fight crime, but in the way that shrapnel that's traveling through my bloodstream trying to get into my heart and kill me, my shrapnel is pre-diabetes and high blood pressure. And my little energy core in my chest is um, exercise and eating healthier. And so, um, you know, it, it's a struggle because you think, ah, I could just quit eating whatever I have to whenever I want to. That's not true at all. There's, there's emotions connected with food to me. There's um, you know, memories connected with food, and if I can eat a certain food, I think I can recapture a memory or a moment somewhere that, that made me feel good. And in, the rea in reality, 
that is not worth it because you eat that food and you might feel momentarily good and then, you know, you go back to feeling bad because your body is not in a very good place and you're just, you're draining yourself. So the other part about it is that I want to be healthier for my future. You know, I want to be as healthy as I can manage to be for my future child that's on the way right now. Um, and possible other children. I don't know. I, I think I'd be okay with one, but Tabitha says, if you have one, you're gonna have two because you don't want the first one to be lonely, so I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh man, she, she, uh, she brings me true happiness, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and, and then, you know, a lot of my Christian friends will say, well, you're going to live, and the, the part of my reasoning in my brain will say this too, is you're going to live as long as God allows you to live. And that is true. You, you have no guarantee of your days. The Bible says as much. Your, your days are numbered, they're counted, and you don't have any control over that. Um, they were, it was set that way the moment you were born. It was set that way, some would say that it was set that way at the beginning of the universe. In that aspect, I, I understand I have no control over when I will die, so to, to say that, you know, I could stave off death somehow by exercising and eating right, it's not my, that's not my goal at all. I can't do that. There's no way. There's no way. I can't fight it. I can't fight my fate. I can't fight what what is planned for me. That's set. I agree with that. Okay. Established. What I am fighting is the days that I have left, I want them to be happy days. I want them to be full days. I don't want them to be me vegetized because I can't do, you know, I can't do what I want to do because I am unable to do them. Um, so that's what I'm fighting against. I'm fighting against the monster of this feeling that I could waste the time I have. My bank account, <laughs> theoretical bank account, time bank account. It has a deposit put in it the day I was born, and that's the money I have, that's the currency that I have to spend, and um, I'm going to try my best to spend the rest of it in a good way, and not waste it. So that's what I'm thinking about today. Sorry that this video is late, it was supposed to be uh, a yesterday video, but I'm going to edit it and put it up as soon as I can, Thank you for watching. Thanks for liking and sharing. Please comment below and tell me what you feel uh, about um, this topic of exercise and and trying to uh, you know wring the most you can out of out of the time that you have left. And I will talk to you guys next time. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you're new. Have a great day. Bye.